Uh, modern life has a lot of conveniences that have unintended consequences that we're not aware of. Um, buying a new computer means you need to get rid of the old. Giving the old one away to a charity might actually mean it's being recycled, and by recycled that might mean it's being shipped on a pallet to be uh, destroyed, taken apart in Africa. Uh, the plastic uh, boards being melted for their metal components and your hard drive being taken uh, to a gang in, in, in Ghana and searched through for your data. Um, maybe banking records, maybe photographs, whatever interesting things that they can find. So you should know to destroy the hard drive data when you get a new computer. That's, that's kind of a strange thing because nothing else in our lives that we dispose of needs to be securely wiped before you get rid of it. And it almost defeats the purpose because if it's still useful, you might want to give it to your, your child for their use at school. But again, you want to make sure that it's kind of cleaned up in a way that doesn't leave mom and dad's banking records on it before you give it to the kid who takes it to the public you know, library to do their work. And who knows what they've got installed on there and compromises uh, your financial security. So it's, it's um, memory is very persistent in, in this day and age. And that's on the internet, in the cloud, on hard drives. Um, and remembering too much at the wrong time is a problem. So you've got to have good security. You have to have a good perspective. You need to know when to share, where to share. Um, and you need to remember to kind of erase things after you're done with them. Um, summarizing what we've seen evolve um, in internet threats in the last five, six years, it's that there is no one single threat that you can educate yourself against. It's, it's not this is a banking scam and you must avoid this by doing this, this, and this. That's not enough. What you need is to think of it in common sense terms that I'm doing something that is potentially permanent. And should I do it if it's permanent? And just be aware of the fact that almost everything that you're doing with computers or the internet has the potential to be permanent. And if you think to yourself, maybe I don't want it to be, you can use your common sense to kind of like, that'll trigger in your mind, now I need to start looking at the privacy settings or now I need to start looking at some of the controls. And if I don't understand them, I get a family member to help who does. Because um, that in summary, like the threats are very um, diverse, they're very subtle. Uh, it, it could be as painful as having all of your data on your hard drive encrypted and held for ransom. Uh, or it could be as subtle as you get subscribed to a $2.99 premium rate SMS service and three euros a month you don't notice on your bill uh, until a year later and you realized you've paid 30 some euros to something you never really intended to sign up for. That's not gonna break the bank, but, so, but it's still, it's all relatively easy for the bad guys to do, so they throw it all out there and something is gonna stick against you if you're not paying attention. So the key message, just kind of common sense, uh, and remember, the internet remembers forever.